I grew up um, in Ardmore uh, from very humble beginnings, and it's something that I am very proud of. As a child, you don't understand the different challenges you face or why uh, certain things are as they are, or that, um, you know, your household looks different, your experiences are different from, from that of your friends, but you quickly uh, understand that I, I, want, I want things to be different for my life. I, I, there were a lot of deficiencies. My, my parents were very young and um, did the very best they could, but essentially my grandmother stepped in and filled in the gap and raised my siblings and I, and she did a tremendous job. Uh, she was someone who really sacrificed a great deal to ensure that we had opportunities and that because we had uh, a tumultuous upbringing, if you will, or just uh, circumstances, that we didn't let that get the best of us and that we maintained this sense of optimism and really understood that whatever we wanted to accomplish in life, we could. And so I remember her always being of service to the community, always giving of herself and teaching us to really walk in a spirit of humility, but also gratitude, but also uh, exceptionalism and excellence, always aiming to be the very best and not letting any of our circumstances hinder us. And so for me, when I, when I look at really my life's journey and my path, it was shaped by those early experiences of having the rocky home life, of having um, so many challenges and barriers, barriers to overcome. But I say I, I, it's something that I'm proud of because, you know, for, the, for a great deal of my life, it was very embarrassing when people would ask questions about, oh, tell me about yourself. And, you know, people, they, people don't know. They just assume, like, these are questions to ask. And when you come from um, the, the different things that I've had to experience, it's not always easy to talk about. So oftentimes I just found myself not really wanting to answer those questions. And I think that it was whenever I became a parent that I had greater insight and understanding uh, it was whenever I uh, was blessed to serve in various capacities in which I have been for the different organizations I've served and interface with people from all walks of life where I started to say, you know, there are a lot of commonalities <laughs> in my story and <laughs> there's really no reason to be embarrassed or ashamed of all of these different things that I had to experience. In fact, today I can sit in this seat and I count it all joy. I was raised to uh, certainly, my, my faith has always played a huge role in my life. So certainly respected my faith and always put my faith first. It, it's so important, but also to be of service and to have morals and values and be kind and treat people with respect. A lot of great Oklahoma values is what I consider. But my grandmother, she was very no nonsense. You know, she demanded the very best of us. And I just appreciate her. I'm blessed to still have her with me. My parents are deceased, but I, I have my grandmother and I have really a support system. You know, I always also credit my husband uh, who, who we've been friends for 26 years uh, together for 19 and married for 17 years. And I, I credit him with, with, being on this journey with me. And so we have three amazing children that we really are building a legacy for, are creating opportunities for such that their experiences and their childhood looks completely different than mine. And so my path, uh, I was involved in a lot of community organizations growing up. I excelled academically. I loved school. I'm a lifelong learner. I'm having to, you know, uh, kind of, I, I love learning. And so um, that's something that I, that I really pride myself in is just my studies and being able to experience new things and, and challenges and, and things of that nature. But um, excelled in school, Ardmore City, schools, a uh, proud product of, um, I graduated from Armour High School, but was very involved. So student council, honor society, uh, did POM, 
uh, cheer, did drill team. I did all of those things. And um, math club, Latin club, you name it, I was somewhere involved in it. And then, of course, I worked part time. So that was uh, very neat uh, to be able to have a part time job and, you know, on the weekends or in the summers uh, when I wasn't immersed in, in different programs for H. I did so much uh, community service. And, and so to say that where I am is, is, is I mean, it's not a surprise, but uh, again, I'm just certainly, again, it's full circle. After I graduated from Ardmore High School, I went to the University of Oklahoma under uh, President David Bourne's leadership. I was a student ambassador, and you talk about an incredible experience. I absolutely loved my time at the University of Oklahoma. The, the faculty and staff and different members of staff really poured into me and continue to foster my potential. And so I was really involved in student organizations there as well. Worked um, as well, you know, held a job and, and whatnot and did the same um, as pertains to uh, just making sure that my studies and things were taken care of. So had an amazing time at the University of Oklahoma, grew so much, learned. Um, and it's interesting to be able to be able to interact with a lot of some of the classmates that I uh, went to school with at the time, but graduated and then two days later moved to California. Two days after I graduated, I was I was out of here. I was off to see the world, and so I um, moved to California and and took a job there and became a marketing director, and that's what propelled me to go back to school to pick up an MBA while I was out there, and so was able to really thrive and grow and learn there, and again very much connected to the community. Um, was on a board, uh, was on a chamber board there. Did all sorts of community service projects with the organization that I that I served at the time, and so then um, got engaged, got married, and then my husband and I, Bernard, moved to um, Ohio, where he um, practiced at a law firm, and then he was recruited by McAfee Taft, and that's what brought us back to Oklahoma, and then of course I started my journey through the education and nonprofit sectors um, here in this in, the, in our great state. And so it was nice to, to be back in our state when we moved back. And of course, we didn't have a family, didn't have children or anything at the time, but my husband worked for McAfee. And then I spent my time at the KIPP school, which is something that I'm so proud of the work that was able to accomplish there. And then went to work for the Foundation for Oklahoma City Public Schools. So went from serving a single school to an entire district. Uh, then I think it was over 40,000 students being able to secure resources and, and do all those things. And of course, continue to be involved in the community on various boards, state boards, local boards, now national boards. Um, and, and so just continued my path, went from there to uh, what, what, Visivance, which is used to be Prevent Blindness. That was a really neat opportunity to get to serve them and serve um, students across the state in all 77 counties. And then went to work for Whitefields, which talk about changing lives and impacting lives. That was that's something that I, I think every experience I hold very near and dear to my heart because I believe at each step and level, I've been able to serve um, in greater capacities and really give of myself. And that's been very meaningful for me. And so spent time at Whitefields and loved the team there and, and the board and the founders and everything. And then of course, had an opportunity to go and serve at Langston. And there um, was vice president for advancement and executive director of their foundation as well as eventually assuming leadership of their Oklahoma City campus and so served, you know, at the high at the at an institution of higher education and really fell in love with higher ed. From the standpoint of that's really the entry point where it it, it gets serious for people and, you know, they get to decide what they're gonna do with the rest of their lives. So I feel that my entire journey and path has been being able to see myself at every stage, being able to serve students, I mean, children, youth, teens, young adults, 
uh, even adults and, and who, you know, more seasoned adults, adults from really from, from all age ranges, I've been able to do that. And that's been meaningful and special and exciting at every stage. And then now here at, at OCCC, it's, it's full circle because at every stage that I've been through in my life and the different things that I've had to experience, I now serve, continue to serve uh, students whose backgrounds and experiences very much mirror mine. And it makes the work even more meaningful because I understand all too well the realities that people face who are going through things, who are having to overcome challenges and barriers and really from all walks of life. And it's why I've taken the work that I do so seriously, because I know what it's like to be in certain spaces and places and and, in moments in life where you question so much or you need some encouragement or things are tough and you really have to persevere through. So it makes the work that I do meaningful because now I get to be in a position where I get to help play a a small role in people's lives and securing resources and removing barriers and ensuring that anything that any of our students want to accomplish, they can, that they have the resources to do and they have people behind them an entire campus community saying you can and you will and we're going to see to it and that's special for me it is special it i always say the things that i went through were not in vain and i count it all joy because i see that it was a purpose really in everything there's purpose in our pain there there you know there's power in the words of our testimony and the things that we've gone through can certainly inspire others and so It took me a while to find my voice. It took me a while to make sure that, um, you know, the the things that I went through, uh, at some point, I will be comfortable sharing those. But I'm here. And I certainly don't mind sharing because, again, the goal is to not, uh, is is to hopefully inspire others along the way. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can end there, really. <laughs> no, I'm joking. There's so much to unpack uh, uh, of just that, that the, the statement you just made. Um, first thing is what, you know, growing up, you know, with your grandmother raising you, and obviously she was, she was your first mentor. She, yes. Like, what, what is she telling you when you're a kid? Like, what is she, you know, tell, t- I know you said she yeah. was tough, right? But yeah, what is no, she telling you I, as a, I, as a no, little girl? She, she, there were... There were lots of tears. There were lots of sad times. And she was always the constant. She was always the person saying, it's okay. You're, you're going to be okay. There were, there were things that I had to do and take care of and responsibilities I had that children probably shouldn't have to. But she was always that constant saying, you know, power through. Um, I'm here for you. You know, just that, 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 that voice of reason that voice of hope, of inspiration, of saying, you can do it, you're gonna be okay. And she was that, she's been that for our entire family. I mean, she's our matriarch. So she, and she's been through a lot. But, you know, work hard, be diligent, uh, work smarter, give it your, your, your very best, dream big, the sky's the limit, God is with you. Uh, you know, you can do all things through Christ. I mean, when I, I could go on and on about the various things that were constant in her household, but guess what? I'm here today, and worked, I survived. Worked it worked out pretty well, didn't it? Yeah. It worked out, and I survived. There are a lot of people that probably go through half of what we went through and a fraction that their lives look very different, you know? And so... I don't take for granted um, the things that I did go through. They helped shape my life's work. 